All right, COVID-19 pandemic chronology video for today, Monday, 27 February, 2023. Little, there we go. Um, COVID-19 pandemic update in my life. I wrote and published on Wikipedia as part of pandemic pit crew writing and publishing. So on Wikipedia, I've done one of four pages I'm have on my list for the day so I have more to do whether it's time stamped as today or tomorrow um because I'm writing and publishing on English Wikipedia which uses coordinated universal time so uh, that's it's focusing on the solidarity Russian solidarity games which is a multi-sport it was held over like eight segments uh had like 20 some countries uh, hosted by Russia in 2022 uh there was a bunch of like bands and so Russia was like we'll invite people and turns out a lot of people are like we want to go to Russia and compete you know um we like you guys we're your friends so I have I've wrote written on one Russians page I'm like yeah and that was the lowest number I've heard is like 22 countries competed so I have I wrote on one Russians page and then for this the rest of the day I have a Belarusian so of the country Belarus and then two more Russians it's like updating personal best times or competition experience because they did something in 2022 they still competed contributed to uh the sport of swimming and putting times out there and stuff like that uh, so yes and an international competition um so there we go that's kind of the main update I think some some concerns about like well is the olympic games just i mean they already banned them from what was it the 2022 winter paralympic games so they've already been banned entirely russia and belarus so technically two countries what if that happens for like olympic games moving forward well that has already been taken into account in history in like the 1980s the goodwill games were developed 80s 90s um and the place where I went and took that video of Delaney Schnell and the competition at Natatorium King County Aquatic Center was actually built for the 1990 Goodwill Games. And they were a sporting competition held, you know, thousands of competitors, um, dozens of nations, that kind of stuff, uh, summer and winter editions. And it was held to be Goodwill. And they just have a place where <clears throat> uh, comp athletes could compete for multiple sports, multiple countries, and not have a political agenda be the heart beating heart and soul, kind of like it is with the International Olympic Committee and Olympic Games. Is it's one hundred percent about politics, not necessarily about sporting excellence. Goodwill Games was like Goodwill Games were like sporting excellence, but also just being friends with each other, right? uh, basic human uh, decency and like um, getting along. So very different than the Olympic Games, which are like these days 100% political. <laughs> um, and so the last edition of the Goodwill Games was held in 2001 in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. And it was so successful that the Olympic Games is copycatted the location for the 2032 uh, Olympic Games. So how does one know if a business model for a sporting competition, especially at that scale, the Goodwill Games, um, and conceptually very different than the Olympic Games because it's about um, like building bonds between peoples of different nations and stuff like that, which is not the Olympic Games. It's about putting Russians down, Belarusians down, people of certain political standings down. Um, has been my entire lifetime, and I was born in the early to mid 1990s. Um, so the one way of knowing one has a very successful business model for a sporting competition, international sporting competition, long term is stuff like the Olympic Games copycatting. The location. So the Olympic Games and International Olympic Committee choosing Brisbane, Queensland, Australia as the host for the 2032 Olympic Games was 100% a copycat of the 2001 Goodwill Games in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia because it was so successful. And so they just like to kind of leech and siphon off of other successful sporting competitions. So it's a, it's a, it's a bad thing. <laughs> for the thing being siphoned off from, so in this case, the Goodwill Games, even though it's supposedly gone. I'm like, well, considering how political the Olympic Games are these days, it's time to bring it back, huh? Um, and especially considering 
the kind of like unoriginal nature of the Olympic Games of like trying to like do shady things with choosing its hosts down the road. So it'd be like the same if um, the Olympic Games ever chose the Palace of uh, Water Sports or Kazan Aquatics Palace, so chose to host an Olympic Games in Kazan, Russia, and used the Kazan Aquatics Palace or Palace of Water Sports. Um, same kind of shady stuff there. It's it's entirely about putting down the solidarity games that Russia hosted All right, in those 20-some minimum countries that competed um, kind of thing. It's, it, it's purely political motivation, not sporting excellence. Um, for the Olympic Games. So when um, people kind of ask about that, like, what could be done is, well, we could bring back some of the successful sporting competitions that were so successful that the Olympic Games now copycat the Goodwill Games, right? <laughs> um, in, at least in terms of host location. Um, so yeah, they use that as like a stepping stone to like, we are going to be bigger and better. And I'm like, considering how political you are, <laughs> that, don't, don't even enter the ranking there. That's like disqualified for human rights violations and being too political. Uh, I like to watch sporting events for sporting excellence in like sports. Um, so the Olympic Games doesn't really enter any list or ranking on that because it's not dedicated to that. It hasn't been in my lifetime. So yeah, just kind of my writing work, pandemic pit crew writing is something I've tackled during the pandemic because um, these bans were implemented in like, you know, March and April, 2022. So. At that point in time, I was having to wear double masks to go to dentist appointments, you know, that, that kind of thing, approximately. So, uh, yeah, there's a big flare up during the pandemic and then there's like the political drama of stuff going on and being like, okay, how did these people rebound in their career and being like, I'm still dedicated to the sport of swimming and swimming excellence. How can I improve and how can I contribute to the sport of swimming with what's available um, to them? And they did. So a uh, round of applause to those um, people. They don't got the privilege that Americans do where they're allowed in every you know competition and can fake ancestry to different <laughs> nations um, just to compete at those competitions like a lot of Americans do. Um, so uh, yeah clean competition. Round of applause for clean competition and clean competitors. Um, whether the Americans tamper with that and fudge stuff in the future or not. Or the past or not, right? They might have meddled back then for all I know. Yeah, my sister did talk about you know, Russia a lot. I don't know if that was part of her work at Nestle was going and doing some shady operations. I have no idea. She did talk about Russia a lot. There is grounds for concern on this stuff like that. So. Yes, that is my update for the day, is writing and publishing, some done, more to do. Happy Monday, 27 February 2023, as of filming this in the city of Shoreline, King County, Washington State, United States of America, Planet Earth, the original. Happy day.